Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson we're going to study subtraction and addition from the same picture. And here's my picture, one of them. And there's four purple balls and three blue balls, so you can think of them as, say, lingonberries and blueberries. And we're going to write an addition from that picture, and that's pretty easy, right? You just add four plus three equals seven. But now we also will write a subtraction. And for the subtraction, you can think of, for example, the blueberries going away. If these go away, then we get the subtraction, right? Or the other possibility is that these lingonberries go away. But let's say that the blueberries go away. What's that, Matthew? Oh, no, you can't have blueberries go away. OK, let's say the lingonberries go away. So we have seven in the beginning, right? And then the four purple berries go away, and then there are three left, right? These go away, so these are left. From this one, we have first an addition. Three plus six equals how much? You should know, it's nine. And then the subtraction starts with how many we have in the beginning. We have nine in the beginning, and then some of those go away. Let's say that these six go away. So nine minus six, and how many are left? Three, you see it in the picture. Now here I have one plus one, right? Oh, that's the easiest addition problem there is. One plus one equals two. And the subtraction would start that, would start with two. We have two in the beginning. And then this one goes away. And one is left. Now over here, what kind of addition do we write? It's, it's a little confusing, but think of it this way. In the other group there are none. So we have 3 plus 0 equals 3. And the subtraction? Can you tell what subtraction we can make? Actually, there's two different subtractions we could make. 3 and then take away these 3 leaves 0. And the other subtraction would be if we think 3 take away 0 leaves 3. Over here, there's an addition, and I need to draw the matching something here, and then I need to write a matching subtraction. So, let's say I draw here some triangles. 6 and 1. 6 plus 1 equals 7. And the subtraction, 7 in the beginning, maybe this one goes away, 1 goes away, 6 are left. 0 plus 5 equals, well, it equals 5, right? And now let's draw something, mm, 0 here, and then 5 here, right? I'm going to draw these here to mark the groups. 0 in this group, 5 in that. And now the subtraction. This time we start with 5, and let's say that this is subtracted. 0 is subtracted, and then 5 are left. Over here, we have a subtraction, and then we need to draw the picture. Well, 10 tells me how many they have in the beginning, right? So 10 in the beginning, but it's going to be in two groups, like here. And if 8 are going away, I could draw 8, right? Those 8 will go away, but then there will be two more, so that I have 10 in total. Because the subtraction starts with how many there are in the beginning. 10, take away those 8, leaves 2. And the addition would be 8 plus 2 equals 10. Now how about here? Can you tell what I should draw here? How many? Well, I should draw 7. It says 1 is going away. Let's say that this one will go away. And then how many more do I draw? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I need 7 in total, so I drew 6 here and 1 here, right? 6 and 1 makes 7, 6 plus 1. And then 7 minus 1 is 6. All right, now over here we have some of those alligator mouth problems again. Is that? Mammoth mouth problems, yes. Greater than or less than. And this time we need to first solve 6 minus 2. You can count down, do you remember that? Count down two steps from 6, or count backwards, like... 6, 5, 4. So this whole side here is 4, and then 3. Which one is greater? 
4 is greater than 3. 4 minus 1, that's 3. 3 and 5. 5 is greater this time. Or we write 3 is less than 5. 2 plus 2 on this side, that would be 4. I'm going to write it here. And then 5 minus 1 is also 4. So hey, these are equal. 3 plus 3, that would be 6. 10 minus 2, again, count down. 10, 9, 8. This is 8. So 8 is greater, like that. And here's another way to write subtraction problems, where the numbers are under each other. You write your answer below this line. 10 minus 1. Count backwards. Just one step. It is 9. Now 9 minus 2. Again, count backwards, so count down. 9, 8, 7. 6 minus 6. Imagine 6 cars, and 6 of them go away. 0 are left. 4 minus 2, you can probably tell it's 2. Lastly, we have here a challenging word problem. That means it's a little bit difficult, okay? And um, Matthew said that he likes challenging word problems, so you can learn to like them too. I have an idea that will help us, I'll tell you real soon. Ted has five red cars, two blue ones, two green, and three black cars. Today, two of the red cars are missing. How many cars does Ted have left? Is that Matthew? The problem should say, or ask... Oh, that's silly. Matthew thinks that the problem should say, where should Ted go looking for the missing cars? Maybe the living room? Sandbox? I don't know. Now, Ted has five red cars, two blue cars, two green cars, and three black cars. And today, two of the red cars are missing. The idea to help you is that you can draw. You can draw this situation, you know? Five red cars. Now, I'm not going to draw cars because it would take me such a long time. I'm just going to draw something. These symbolize cars. Okay? Two blue ones. And two green ones. And three black ones. These are Ted's cars. Okay, now let's go on. Today, two of the red cars are missing. So I'm going to put in my picture that two red cars are missing. They went somewhere else. Or they were left somewhere. How many cars does Ted have left? Now it's an easy problem, right? Just count here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten cars left. All right, we're all done with this lesson.